Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, Del DJ Truth? Ja Rule wants all the smoke with 50 Cent in a versus battle. He say 50 don't want the smoke. Yo, let's talk about it. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? DJ Truth here with some hip-hop news today, man. If y'all ain't heard, Ja Rule, you already know, but what up, be with up, my baby? Ja Rule wants smoke with 50, 50 Cent. In a versus battle, he wants smoke with 50 Cent. Now, this is a really debatable subject because a lot of people say Ja would win, but then you got a lot of people that say 50 Cent will win. Now, this year, if you haven't been paying attention to the versus battles, you've been missing out. The versus battles have been such a hit during quarantine. Um, quarantine is actually the best thing to happen to these versus battles. You know, the versus battles actually started before quarantine. I believe Timberland and Swizz Beats have been going back and forth for a while about possibly battling each other in like a beat battle, but not just a beat battle, a song battle, because they, they both produced a bunch of hit songs for a lot of people. So they went back and forth with each other, and finally they kind of did their thing, but from that, it ended, it ended up spinning off into something completely different. And now it's this huge thing. When quarantine came in and shut us all down and put us all in the house, as you know, we needed something to do. And these versus battles have been a light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you, there's been R&B versus battles, rap versus battles. Um, they haven't really crossed genres like that. Um, they did like a reggaeton. Did I say that right? I tried to roll the R. Anyway, they did like a reggaeton versus battle kind of. Um, which was a huge success. They haven't really crossed genres yet, and I know at some point they will cross genres, but this has been just a great thing. This has been a great thing. You know, you had, who did we have? We had Brandy, Monica. We had Snoop and DMX. We also had my favorite, Jada Kiss and Fabulous. That was one of my favorites. Oh, I can't forget. My, my second favorite was Jeezy and Gucci Mane, which was... <laughs> you know, the Jeezy and Gucci Mane versus battle was crazy um, just because of the energy. Like, these are two people who really had animosity towards each other. Um, you also... I think you had Patti LaBelle versus... Was it Gladys Knight? Um... You know, we were about to have Keisha Cole versus, uh, who was Keisha Cole going to battle? Oh, Ashanti. It was going to be Keisha Cole versus Ashanti, but um, Ashanti had to cancel because she um, she was actually was diagnosed with COVID right before the battle. So shout out to Ashanti. Um, feel better. Feel better. I actually had Ashanti taking that battle. I don't, 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 don't start with me. Yes, I had Ashanti taking that battle, but then I went and looked. Oh, listen. Anyway, so 50 Cent and Ja Rule has been one of those conversations that you and I have had forever. Not just you and I, but the universe. We've had this conversation. Who's better? Because they kind of were the same person, per se. They were like these tough dudes from New York, East Coast dudes who made a lot of songs for, they made a lot of songs for the club and for women. Um, but I think, I think what really made them more similar is they both did the melodic thing and they were from New York to wh where we were really used to like hard lyrics from New York rappers. You know, we were really used to that side of New York rappers and they both started off that way where it was just um, hardcore lyrics and they kind of switched it up as the as the times changed and you know making songs for women made more money and these record labels like look you got to stop shooting people and start and start dancing in the club and that's kind of what happened with John 50 so before a lot of you knew about them they were making those kind of records what we would consider street records but as they became more popular in like the early 2000s early to mid 2000s that sound was their bread and butter and people always compared the two ja Rule and 50 they actually had real life problems like 50 cent had his 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 label g unit 
while Ja Rule had his label, uh, Murder Inc., which was him, Irv Gotti. You had uh, Cadillac Ty, you had Ashanti. Um, you know, the, the, the list goes on. And, you know, 50 Cent, he had his crew, which was G-Unit, which, um, you know, was Lloyd Banks, Tony Yayo, uh, Young Buck. And they all feuded with each other. Those two two crews just feuded with each other. And y'all know 50, right? Y'all, let's, let's bring this down. Y'all know 50. Y'all, y'all done seen it. 50 might be the petty king. I think 50 might be the petty king out here. And him and... And Ja Rule going back and forth was right up his alley. So they would go back and forth. They actually had real po- problems like physical altercations um, that led to, to different things and lawsuits and cops and all of that. So it, it was real. You might not know this, but it got really, really real. And it, I don't know if it's still that real now. I feel like it isn't. But again, I'm not in these guys' shoes, so I don't know. But. 50 and Ja. Ja says 50 does not want any smoke with him um, going hit for hit. Now, I don't have a song list in front of me, but I'm a DJ. And I kind of got to know this, these things. I feel like I've been undefeated in versus battles as far as with who will win if you go this person versus this person, this person versus this person. Um, I feel like I've been undefeated so far because I try to use, I try to use my brain. So in this, in a versus battle, you get 20 songs. See, that's the thing that people seem to forget. People seem to say, yo, this person has his catalogs way longer, or, you know, he had this many records that does not matter in a versus battle because a versus battle is only 20 songs. Um, each. So if you got 75 songs, 100 songs, we're not even going to make it to those. You're not even, you can't have a versus battle that lasts, you know, five, five hours, you know, so a versus battle is only 20 songs. So when you, when you break it down, you got to think about it. And, and the DJ in me has to think about these things. Like what would be 50s angle what would be Ja's angle? Now, Ja, as we know, Ja got those lady records. Um, he has he has some collab some 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 collaborations, but Ja got the ladies' records. 50 has some lady records. He has some club records. Shout out to my cousin Dean Jones. Hold on. RP is so. All right. That <laughs> was just a moment. Um so they both got a list, but if I had to give my honest opinion, who would win this battle? Because Ja says 50 does not want the smoke. I don't agree with that. I think 50 just don't want to shine no light on you. But I would say, I would say 50 would win easily. And the reason, and, and this is the reason why. The reason why 50 will win easily is simply because... Because 50 has, his catalog is long, and I know I, I, I'm contradicting myself by saying it doesn't matter how long the, the, the um, catalog is. But Ja Rule has about 10 to 12 really good songs that we all remember. They, these, were, these were timeless songs. That's the thing. These were timeless. 50 has about 15 of those on top of features and that's where it gets different that's where it gets different because 50 there there's a there's a part in the versus battle where you kind of play these throwaway tracks that were they were kind of hits but they 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 were personal hits to you and your core fan base or whatever 50 has way more of those than ja Rule. 50 has so many features he got justin timberlake features he got Little Wayne features. He has Eminem features, Dr. Dre features. So I feel like 50 can go in a bag. 50 even got the Trey song. He could he could drop the song, the power song. He said, This is a big rich town. Yeah. He can he can literally 50 can start off the battle with that song. And no matter what Ja Rule plays first, you won't beat Big Rich Town. 
Uh, and we, and that's just because power was so popular from that song. So if he dropped that with with Joe, he can even throw the one in there with Trey. He can go back to back with him. Um, I think that's where it will get kind of weary for Ja Rule because Ja doesn't have too many throwaways that people would know. Like Ja Rule had it. Don't don't get me wrong. They had a run. They had a run like no other. But when that when that run ended, you kind of didn't hear Ja Rule anymore. You just didn't hear him no more. When 50 and G Units run ended, you still could hear 50. 50 would still drop songs. 50, um, 50 still had music. You were still seeing 50. And I think that would really play a part in this versus battle. Now I know it sounds like that shouldn't matter, but that would matter. Because once you get through that first round and you get those hits out the way. That second round, it, it might get nasty for Ja. So I don't know. I don't think, I'm going to be honest, man, Ja Rule, listen, if you ever listen to this, Ja, I would say do it, but you, but don't talk trash like you just go go out there and watch fifth. Because you're not just going to go out there and watch fifth. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to go out there and watch fifth. It's no way. The catalog's too long on top of you got these artists that 50 Cent put out that has songs that 50 can jump on that 50 row we I, I didn't even mention the game because in the versus battle they also play songs that they wrote that they had something to do with and the fifth and 50 has a lot of songs um that he helped game with in the beginning from my understanding game's first project most of it was already done um when game signed a G unit 50 already had these songs now I don't I don't mean that the game came in and, and rap 50s lyrics. I mean, some, I'm pretty sure there was like hooks and things like that or melodies and things and 50 like, yo, keep this right here or whatever. And I'm pretty sure game still wrote his own lyrics to certain songs. But uh, from my understanding, that album was just about done. It was just like insert rapper here. And, and luckily they found somebody super talented, which was the game who, who jumped in, um, used his own style and, and jumped on songs that was already kind of pre-produced and, and killed it and just kept the thing going. So 50, 50 has a, a, a crazy legacy. You know, we got the Eminem songs. It's just, I think the list too long for Ja. I don't know. I want to know what y'all think. If 50 Cent battled Ja Rule, keep this going. If 50 Cent battled Ja Rule in a versus battle, who do you have winning? Like, or is it a landslide? You think it's a landslide by one of them or you think would it be close? I don't really know. Honestly, I don't really know. I would see 50 winning. I got 50 winning. If you had to, if I had to put money on it, I'm going to say 50. But they both had a crazy run, a hell of a time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know who I got. Who you got? Let me know. Comment, like, rate, subscribe. You already know. Subscribe for the vibes. DJ Truth. Peace.